recipe's real simple. Uh, about four teaspoons of ice water, one and a quarter cups of flour with a half a teaspoon of salt, and some small cube butter. I got my little helper here. Oops. So I'm working one hand in here. And this is just right out of the refrigerator. And here we go, helper. My Ella helper. And we just want to pulse this until it's all crumbly, fine, and blended in, and not to overdo it. Stand up for one second. It's not working. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. Okay, once you get it on, you want to pulsate this and just blend all that flour into the bag. Quick. There we go. Now that I got a lot, you can see that it's about little pebble sizes and stuff in here. Right there. Now we want to add our water. It varies where you're at and humidity and everything, but it's between four to six teaspoons of water. And you want to do it one at a time. So we got to add some water. You add it. Alright, we're going to try this. My little helper is going to try this with me. Here we go. There was one. This is six teaspoons too. Okay, I added six teaspoons to my flour too. Here in the desert, it can it needs it. And then and you can see it's a nice little dough with the butter. So we're gonna just form it into a disc, wrap it up, and let it sit for at least an hour. There, get it nice. And see how easy it is. Wonderful this dough is. And as you can see, I just wrapped it in some foil. I mean, in some plastic. And I'm going to just sit that in the fridge for an hour. Or overnight, depending on how I feel. It's been over 24 hours. And even though it's been over 24 hours, this dough still works great. You want to... Take it out of the refrigerator and work it for about 10 minutes to soften it up. Get it to where you want it. Just flatten this out. Okay, once you get it rolled out real nicely, you want to put it in your grease pie plate. You can use pan coating, spray pan coating. So, then we want to put our pie shell. Into the pie plate. And when you put it in there, you don't want to stretch it. because when it bakes it'll shrink back. You wanna 
take a fork and pierce a bunch of holes all in it. All along the sides. And then we take a little foil. Put it in there. This is only a real short temporary. Just to keep the pie from bubbling. Then I'm going to take some beans here. Use them to weight it down. They're cheap and inexpensive compared to a pie weight. Delicate not to damage the sides. And the oven's at 375 preheated. So we're going to stick this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take the beans out and cook this for another 15 minutes until it's a golden brown. Yes. 